guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So I just recently did a video on signs of an infected Pearson and y'all seem to really enjoy it. So I thought for today's video, I'd kind of do like a companion video for signs of a healing Pearson. Knowing if a Pearson is healed or not is sometimes tricky because cartilage Pearsons especially can take quite a while to heal completely. Some can take anywhere from like three months to six months to an entire year to completely heal. I know personally mine seemed to take a little bit longer to heal than others. I will say my septum piercing was probably the fastest one to heal, whereas my single helix over here took roughly two and a half years to completely heal. Up until that point, I would still get a bump every now and then, I'd get crusties, I'd even get the occasional bleed in, whereas now it's perfectly fine. I'm also noticing that my rook is not completely healed because it'll get bumps every so often. Now I haven't had that one an entire year yet, but it'll be a year next month. So keep that in mind when trying to determine if your piercing is healed, but I am going to give you some signs to look for to kind of help you determine if it's healed or at least heal in. Keep in mind, again, everyone's different, everyone's body's different. Same with infected piercings, you know, what may work for one person won't work for another. Also keep in mind that I am a piercing enthusiast. I am not a professional piercer and I don't also have a medical degree. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt because this is all kind of personal thoughts, feelings, experiences with healed Pearsons. Also, I apologize, I have no idea if I sound odd, but I'm still sick. So one thing to look for in a healed Pearson or a healing Pearson is less bleeding, less oozing, and less crusties. You know, you may still get these every so often, especially crusties. Crusties just kind of crop up willy-nilly whenever they feel like it. I still get crusties on Pearsons that are well healed. They've been healed, they just kind of show up. But you'll notice that there's less of that oozing, gross, goopy stuff coming out. So even though crusties are normal, you'll notice that that oozing, goopy stuff that comes out from a new Pearson or an infected Pearson is a little bit lessened. Same with bleeding, you know, every time you clean it, you may not notice bleeding. A lot of people don't even experience bleeding after the initial Pearson or even from the initial Pearson. If that's the case, you are lucky. But you'll notice less of all three of those. Again, the crusties will just happen on their own when they feel like it but it won't be to the extent that they're at when you get the piercing initially and when it's going through the healing process. Another sign are no bumps, those dreaded piercing bumps. And there are various forms of the piercing bumps and maybe we can get into that another time because I feel like that could be a video all on its own. But you'll notice that the bumps are either completely gone or they're small. Whereas like I notice on my brook, every so often it'll be perfectly fine and then all of a sudden, a bump pops up. I take that to mean that it is not completely healed yet or something irritated. It. Like I said, it took about two and a half years for this single helix right here to completely heal. It would seem fine one day and then all of a sudden there's a bump. I took that as it was not healed yet and it was just kind of reacting to whatever irritated it. So if you've noticed that the bumps are lessening or they're just you know, they've completely gone. I take that as a sign of healing. I'd also say no redness and no tenderness are pretty good signs of healed piercings or healing piercings. If you can hit your ear or your piercing site, I tend to focus on the ears just because that seems to be where people have the most questions or have the most piercings. Sometimes I'll get a question about nose piercings, but they're also cartilage. I take it that if you don't notice any redness around there or if you like accidentally bump the piercing site, there's no tenderness that doesn't hurt. I take that as a pretty good sign of it has either healed or it is healing. Which leads me into, does it feel okay? You know your body better than anyone else. Does the piercing actually feel okay to you? Pretty good sign that it's healing. Along with feeling good, does it look good? Is it aesthetically pleasing? I mostly just wanted to say aesthetically pleasing because I don't know why, but it's fun to say. Does your piercing look good? Does it feel good? Does it look good? This is a huge one with healed piercings. Can you change out the jewelry? Or can you move the jewelry freely without it hurting? A lot of people want to change out that initial jewelry. Most initial jewelry is not pretty. It's not aesthetically pleasing. Haha, -ha, I got to say it a second time. It's usually your standard like silver looking or gold if you pick that looking jewelry and it's not 
cute or anything like that. So a lot of people are like, when can I change out my jewelry? How long do I have to wait before I can change out my jewelry? If you can change it out and it's fine and it doesn't hurt, and it's not tender and it doesn't become super red when you do it unless you're me because you're pale and every touch is just makes you red then i would say it's healed or on its way to being healed so if you can move your jewelry around pretty easily you can change it out if you could change it out and not like panic about doing so then i'd say that's also a pretty good sign like when i change out my helix piercings i don't panic when i do it when I try and change out something else, that's just me, mostly because I'm like freaking out that if it stays out too long, it'll close up, which could be the case, you know. Some people have said that they've had a certain piercing for years, they left it out for like an hour and it started to close up. I wouldn't take that as a sign of healed versus healing because that's just the body being like, oh, well, there's an opening, let's close. So if you can change out your jewelry, you can play with your jewelry, I wouldn't suggest that, but if you're capable of doing so, I would say that's a pretty good sign that it's healed or healing. Again, it's a little bit easier slash harder to tell if your piercing is healed. It may look like it, but it all depends on how it feels as well and how it acts. You know, anything can irritate a piercing. You can have had a piercing for years and then all of a sudden something completely irritates it and it's just like, whoa, no, and it just spasms out. Also keep in mind that everyone's body is different. Everyone's body heals at a different rate, in a different way. You know, how my Daith Doth Pearson healed may be completely different from how someone else's heal. Um, some people may not have been able to keep that Pearson because it didn't heal. I mentioned in the last one that I have a friend who has an industrial Pearson and they've had it for years and it just won't heal. Some people's bodies react fine to some piercings whereas others may not always err on the side of precaution too don't just assume that it's healed keep keep taking care of it is, is basically the bottom line even if it seems like it's healed just continue to care for it keep the upkeep also remember that cartilage piercings especially can take three to six months to heal but can also take up to a year you know three to six is kind of like average where you could start thinking about changing out your jewelry but some cartilage piercings can take an entire year to completely heal so keep that in mind. But these are just some of the healing signs that I personally have noticed. They may be completely different for you or someone else. This is just to help those that, again, I get questions daily asking me, is my piercing healed? Can I change my jewelry? Again, let me reiterate like I did in the infected piercings video. I am not a professional. I am also not someone with a medical degree. So if you really have any concerns, go to one of those two. But this is just coming from a Pearson enthusiast who has been around the block and seen a few issues with Pearson's arise as well as seen some pretty good heels. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be, cause I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you wanna know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>